Now we're going to talk about another advanced function called trigger. So here we powered up our blinking LED through channel 2 using 2 wire and if we go to the scope view we allow the scope view to run you can see the current can be displayed like the waveform like the how the LED blinks they look exactly like oscilloscope but it's in current and the instrument actually will trigger automatically display all the information but if you want to see how the current being consumed when we provide a, a input to the instrument which is an output from our device in this example if i press this rotary encoder I want the instrument to start recording to show me the waveform it captured and the current it consumed so we're going to use the functionality called trigger you see we have a, another wire hooked into our rotary encoder when I press this rotary encoder the voltage of this um, pin will change and this wire actually goes to the back of the machine there is a BNC trigger input so if the voltage is changing the instrument will know the instrument will start to capture the current and power consumption by this device to enable trigger we need to go to scope view we go to properties we go to trigger like oscilloscope, you can trigger by the uh, the voltage rating, the voltage changing. You can also trigger through the current. But we're going to use BNC trigger. And we're going to use the mode, the single mode. So we'll only trigger once. And we'll actually see in the positive when, the, when this um, wire is rising the voltage in this wire rising the instrument will trigger let's go back to scope view and the scope is stopped and we run the scope and the scope will actually waiting for the trigger signal to be triggered so if you press this see the instrument being triggered and the, the time when I press the button and the current uh, will show as well the same trigger function can also be used in data logger for example we go to properties we choose trigger we choose bnc trigger bnc trigger in and let's set to 0.2 Wait a second. And if we start the data logger, you see the logging is waiting, but but it's waiting for the trigger signal to be enabled. But the signal captured in here is still captured by the data logger, so you don't worry about you can lose any data. So when I press this, you will see a red line moving forward. See, you will see a little triangle which shows where the, the trigger signal has been enabled. And this is pretty good if you have a design, have several states of your pipeline. You want to measure the certain um, state of your uh, uh, device. If you, in, for example, you have three states, state one, two, three you want the instrument to measure the current consumption in state 3 so you can enable a GPIO for example if you're using microcontroller and the GPIO simply go, go high and while you're entering the state 3 and by enable the signal and allow the instrument to know 
where and when to start recording and put a marker on that position so later you analyze the current figure you will understand um, when is current uh, state three started is particularly good for certain application which consume very little current or the current consumption through different stages are roughly the same